Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel and I make videos about books. So I actually already filmed like all of this video, but I just never filmed an intro. So that is why we are here today with all the mess in my background, just filming mess. This is a vlog that I did about ice skating books. I got into sports romances like last summer and mainly read hockey romances and I thought I should expand to other sports. So I started this video in like winter winter time. Now it's like the end of March and becoming spring but I read these mainly in the winter hence the like snowy ice skating vibes. And yeah, this is the vlog about it. <laughs> Not much more to say. I think this might be a series that I do of reading different sport romances. Probably most of them are going to be Mariana Zapata books because that's like all she writes. And after reading this book, I kind of like her writing. So I might continue with that. But anyway, in this video, we will be reading Icebreaker which is a figure skating hockey romance, and from Lukov with Love, which is a double figure skating romance, like they're both figure skaters. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video, and yeah, let's, let's get into it. I'm starting with Icebreaker, so. Hello, do not mind my post shower look, but I've been reading Icebreaker, and I just got to the scene where they're at the pool and um very unrealistic might I say as a previous lifeguard um the lifeguard on duty would never let you do lifts in the shallow end of the pool I was like head injury so that's my little lifeguard pet peeve but honestly, he's like, it's safer because there's water. Okay, there's also concrete edges and you're holding her in your hand above the water. I don't trust it. I would have blown my whistle at that. I just finished Icebreaker and I'm realizing I did not vlog this like at all. So I guess I'll vlog, um, the next one, what am I reading? From Lukov with Love. I'll vlog that more throughout it, so sorry about this. But um, yeah, I finished this. It was very cute. Nate is like the ultimate dream book boyfriend. He's perfect in every single way. Um, and their relationship was cute. I also liked Anastasia. I feel like she was a very strong, determined, female character and yeah I liked the little conflicts I feel like there were a lot of little conflicts in this book that kept me reading maybe too many like random conflicts that happened but I don't know I liked it it kept me intrigued um but Overall, this book didn't like give me like a wow factor. I feel like it would be a three star. Um, yeah, I definitely like the off campus series better if we're talking about hockey romances. But this did have a more modern like speech, modern writing than off campus. Off campus can sometimes get cringy with the wording. I feel like L. Kennedy uses a lot of like slang from the time that she wrote it which was like the 2010s and um it can get a bit cringy and that there wasn't any cringy parts in here I felt which was nice and just the cover I love I love it look at her little outfit how cute hate Aaron I wish we got like more of a um of a look at where his life went in the epilogue. I wish it was like, and Aaron is now, I don't know. I wish it told us like 
Aaron did not make it to the Olympics and he is now a ski lift operator. Hello, I have begun Lukov with Love, which is my next ice skating sports book. Um, and I've been mainly reading it on Kindle Unlimited because this paperback version is kind of annoying. It's like, it's not very floppy. And so it's hard to read from, I feel. But that's besides the point. Um, so far, I really like the writing. I had heard about like the excessive cursing and it is like a little distracting where you're just like, is that necessary? It's kind of a weird character trait um, for her to have, but I don't know, it's not annoying me too much. And I just, something about the writing is very addictive. Like I, nothing particularly hap like interesting is happening and not really any like mysteries need to be solved or anything right now. Like everything is pretty much fed to you on a platter. Um, but I want to keep reading for some reason. So I think that speaks to the writing and that it is good and that I like it. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep reading, but so far enjoying it, not like in love, but it's a slow burn and it's enemies to lovers. So I think by the end, I am really going to like this. Hello, so I am about halfway through this book and I'm starting to really like it. I I liked the writing from the beginning, like it's very easy to read, but um, I don't know, I wasn't obsessed with the characters, but now I'm really liking them and really liking them together. And yeah, Jasmine, okay, this is like a, unpopular opinion I think based on what I've heard other people say about this book but I kind of like her like I liked her from the beginning um but I think that's just because I relate to her like her, she seems like how I was a couple of years ago like kind of me in in like high school slash college I guess <laughs> um so that's my admission and I feel like the things she's reckoning with I kind of had to go through and to see her like beat up on herself I'm like I remember being like that and being like you are the worst person ever um and I feel like everyone's kind of gone through that in their like early 20s late teens um she's 26 so she's a little slow on the train for that yeah, I'm really enjoying it. There are some cute little quotes that I highlighted. Actually, they're not cute. They're not cute so far um, because it's a slow burn and it's only started burning. Um, so there's not cute quotes yet, but I have a lot of quotes that I'm like, yes. Um, so for instance, Lukov said, these young girls quit right after they win gold medals because they are scared of losing after that. You say nobody remembers second place, but no one remembers the girl that won once and disappeared after. And I was like, that's so true. I love that. Also, I'm thinking I like this one better than Icebreaker. It just feels more like raw and authentic and deeper. Hello. So it is the morning and I've been reading more of From Lukov with Love. And I'm really liking it now. Um, yeah. Uh, we're at the part where Jasmine gets sick. And so Lukov um, is caring for her and it's just very cute. And I feel like this is like the kind of turning point where you see that like, I feel like he's liked her for a long, long time. And it's gonna be one of those. Um, also, it's kind of like 
actions really do speak louder than words <laughs> because he's like like for instance there's one part where um he like called her an idiot for not wanting to go to the doctor and then she was like don't call me an idiot and then he was like no you're you're an idiot and and then was like I'm taking you to the doctor and I was like you know I would usually be mad if you know a guy called a girl an idiot but in this case he's like first of all no you are being an idiot you have like a de deathly fever um and I'm offering to pay for your visit just take it put away your pride and then also it's like you know he doesn't mean it in that way because you can tell he has respect for her so when he says these things it's like it's not that serious you know um yeah and just how he cares for her is so sweet so i like them i like what they're becoming and yeah it's it's a good time but yeah i'm about 200 pages left of the book it's also funny because i've been listening to this on audiobook and reading it on kindle unlimited and through the physical copy it's just like all forms that i can re read and digest this book in i have been doing um but i've been doing this the least because i've heard from people that their copies have like fallen apart hello it's nighttime um <laughs> Can you tell? Yes, you can clearly tell. Um, <laughs> stop. Look at me. I look like an old, old lady mixed with like a dragon. Um, it's because I'm wearing those hero face patches. Um, I was reading Lukov with Love and I am towards the end and I'm really liking it. It's it's weird um because i don't know it's kind of different from other romance books that i've read i feel like in the way that they so far haven't had like any miscommunication which is great um because that's usually the annoying part in romances and they've really had none which is i don't know cool um and then it's also weird because they have not established a relationship like it's literally i have like one one chapter left and they they aren't in a romantic relationship they haven't like really really kissed they've like but like no, nothing else um so now i get what they mean by slow 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 burn um but i'm really into the childhood enemies to lovers situation we got going on here i feel like i don't know i'm not the hugest fan of childhood friends to lovers like it's okay but it's not i don't know probably like my top favorite I don't know why, but this whole enemies to lovers, childhood enemies to lovers, th that's doing it. That's doing it for me. So I'm hopefully going to finish it tonight with my little skin patches. <laughs> so weird. It like really highlights the wrinkles where the wrinkles would be. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading, maybe finish it tonight, and I'll update you in the morning on my final, final thoughts. Good morning. Um, my mask left little weird lines on my face, if you can see. Love that. But I'm reading Look Up With Love, and I'm almost done with it. I have like 25 more pages. And yeah, my only update right now is um, she said that her mom told her how important it is to shave every day. What? I mean, maybe maybe she's like way hairier than I am, but I shave like once a week and I feel 
smooth and supple. <laughs> I have, yeah, 25 more pages-ish. And so I'm gonna read through it and then I'll, then we'll end this. Well, in this thing, we'll say bye-bye. Okay, I'm in a silly, goofy mood this morning, if you can't tell. Hello, so I just finished Look Off With Love, and yeah, it was cute. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I feel like overall, it'd probably be like a three star. I enjoyed it, but I don't know. Nothing like too special, I guess what maybe 3.5 star um but yeah i don't know it was very interesting read because they simply never established their relationship until they're married you know <laughs> so that was very interesting but there's no miscommunication which is very rare so that was interesting to read um, in a romance, I feel like usually there's a third act breakup and spoiler alert, there was not. So that was fun. And yeah, it's cute. I liked it. I think I might like this one better than Icebreaker. But they're both cool. Now I know what a triple Lutz is. Um, just really honing that figure skating knowledge. Also, it was very interesting how in both Icebreaker and Luke Off With Love, then the two main girl characters were very similar, like very headstrong, very independent, all that. Um, so I don't know if, I think Luke Off With Love was written first. So I wonder if like, Hannah Grace, I think that's the name of the author, if she took inspiration from Jasmine and kind of like incorporated that into the character. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I think I might do more like um, sport romance comparison videos. Because I like a good sport romance um, and yeah I had never read a figure skating one um, and now I've read two so yeah um, that's all thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day or night or whatnot yeah no there's just day and night have a good rest of one of those bye